You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, we are back together here with another video. And we're going to be talking about ESPN and Pac McAfee. Now, everybody knows that he's going over there to ESPN. But we got a little bit of drama, right, Rhodes? With yeah, um, this Pat is McAfee kind of, and ESPN. This is this is kind of interesting because somebody that I know everybody on this channel just loves Max Kellerman. Max Kellerman, <laughs> man. You Max bring in Kellerman, a, Go ahead. You bring in a um, Pat McAfee. It's going to be big for ESPN. Somebody's going to have to fall, and apparently, it's Max Kellerman. And by the way, guys, the employees over there at ESPN. They are not happy with ESPN for bringing over uh, Pat McAfee. I'm sure they're not. They're probably outraged right now. I mean, number one, we're talk we are talking about a white straight male that's coming into ESPN right now. That's not a good sign. Then ESPN uh, taking a look at, at about sixty percent of Pat McAfee's fan base, going, "Yikes! That's the very people that turned us off already." Yeah. Now. No fear there. A lot of those people are not coming with Pat. I'm just letting you know. I, I I hate that for you, Pat, but this is the decision you made, so I won't be watching on ESPN. Yeah. Pat uh, McAfee's that, fans are not happy with him. That said, it looks like old Max Kellerman is the one that's going down. Luckily, he knows how to talk boxing because he's about to take a dive here. He's about to take a dive. Yep. Woo! You're Look going at down, this, guys. Uh, Max. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Look at this, guys. ESPN show could reportedly be canceled to make way for Pat McAfee. Now, I got to be honest. I didn't even know. I don't even know the name of the Max Kellerman show. I mean, this guy I, went from <laughs> ESPN first take to pretty much ESPN purgatory. Check this out. I only know it because I just went to look up his ratings. It's called This Just In. That is the I didn't name even know of the, the name show. Of it. That I, I know it for the first time right here, right now, like uh, two minutes ago before we hit, hit yeah. record. We found out the name of Max Kellerman's show. And judging by the ratings, no wonder they're bringing Pat McAfee in. Yikes. The ratings yeah. are not good for this show at all. Yeah, this is from uh, Front Office Sports. Uh, Mike McCarthy and A.J. Perez, ESPN, quote, will likely pave the way for the addition of the Pat McAfee show by canceling Matt Kellerman's weekday <laughs> <laughs> afternoon <laughs> program. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 Max Kellerman supports cancel culture. Here you go, Max. Enjoy this little big you're fat being, you're getting the boot. cancel culture. <laughs> I mean. What's going to happen to Matt Kellerman? They're not firing oh, him. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, they could let him go. They could They could let they, him out of could. his contract somehow. Sure. Sure. Maybe he'll go over to Metal Ark where Dan Lebetard and John Skipper are. That's, or that's, maybe they'll just put him on ESPN Plus exclusively. That's possible. Is uh, what's where is ESPN the Ocho these days? Is that a real station? They could put I him don't over know, there. <laughs> ESPN eight is that for real? Is that is that actually a thing? Yeah. Put put Max Kellerman on ESPN Deportes at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think of this, man. Look at this. Stephen A. Smith admitted that he wanted Max Kellerman gone from first take. It took him a while. They got rid of him. They give him his own show. And now they're ending that show. Let's be real about first take when Max Kellerman was on there. And, and as much as I don't agree with a lot of what Stephen A. Smith has to say, make no mistake, you had one of the heavyweight champions of debate talk shows on a show with somebody that felt like they never was big enough to be in the same ring with Stephen A. Smith. And that was yeah. the problem. That yeah. was the problem. And and this goes to show you exactly why uh, ESPN, of course, he's not been on there lately, but would go out and literally bring Michael Irvin in off of another network. 
because Max Kellerman wasn't big enough for Stephen Not A. only that. Not big enough. Not only that, Stephen A. was actually going out to recruit Skip Bayless to come back because he wanted Skip Bayless. That came very close to happening, too. It People almost happened. It all yeah. it was that close to happening. And, and it I was mean, so they were so desperate, they were going to let Skip stay at Fox. Exactly. On the number one competition, they were going to bring Skip back and let him stay on Undisputed. That's crazy. That's unheard of. We've never seen that happen. Yeah. This is hilarious. This is Pat McAfee has caused an ESPN casualty in a matter of what? Four days? <laughs> yeah. But look, Rhodes, it's getting worse too, man. That's really funny. The people at ESPN are not happy because we know what's going on. They're in the process of laying off people at ESPN. And now they're paying Pat McAfee millions of dollars a year, but yet ESPN employees are losing their jobs. Behind you the know, scenes, you know, behind the scenes people. I haven't even thought about this, but if you just look at Pat McAfee's rumored salary, it's right up there with Stephen A. Smith's. I heard it was like $10 it's, million. Dollars. Well, he's okay, so he's right under. I mean, Stephen A.'s like $12 million. The The only he, oh, two it said, personalities. It says it right here. It says it right here. According to reports from uh, Michael McCarthy of Front Office Sports, a lot of former and current ESPN employees are upset about the massive $10 million per year contract <laughs> given to Pat McAfee as more and more behind-the-scenes staffers lose their jobs. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I yeah, feel and for the behind-the-scenes people, but the driving force on these shows is the on-air talent. Yeah, we do have to remember there was a leaked video – uh, maybe a year ago, a little over a year ago, behind the scenes at ESPN where they talked to actual employees that very much disagreed with the social and woke direction of the company. And, in fact, they were being bullied by current other woke ESPN employees for not getting on the leftist train. Do we remember that? Yeah. That leaked yeah. out. Yeah. Look at this. The morale within ESPN is reportedly, quote, really, really low. Uh, quote, absolutely, Michael. I've talked to many ESPNers. Is that even a word? Okay. No. Um, two, and the morale is really, really low right now. Former ESPN producer Jason Romano tweeted in response to McCarthy's report. I can imagine that it would be low, but um, ESPN, man, think of this, man. They almost had to make this move to bring him in. They were suffering, man. Oh, oh. They were yeah. suffering. Now you get Wait. the Joe Rogan of sports to come over. That's huge. Yeah. I know a lot of people yeah. upset that's on um McAfee's um that were that was a supporter of um, Pat McAfee, but ESPN needed to make this move. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's not gonna carry over a lot of those viewers just because there's been a mass exodus of viewership from ESPN in general. Yeah. The the only people I know at this point, the only thing that I can think of that people will watch at ESPN at this point is actual live sports. Yeah. But their, Night studio, Night their studio shows have taken a massive plummet in ratings, and they're trying to get some of the viewers back that they pushed away with their social justice and their woke agendas and this, that, and the other. And I don't think this is going to work because people were watching Pat McAfee on YouTube and listening to him on his podcast specifically because he was the alternative to the mouse. He was the alternative to ESPN. So I do think it's not going to work for ESPN. They're not going to get the payoff that they thought they would. Now, let us be aware if ESPN gets, say, 380,000 views out of a, a Pat McAfee sh daily show, that's a huge win. That's up there with, like, around the horn. How many okay, is he or, getting or some now? Show. I'm just kidding. No, I'm going to look it up real well, quick. Well, I can tell you this. He regularly had clips get a half a million views. Regularly. He regularly yeah, had 50,000, 60,000 people watching at a time over the course of four hours 
And we know from experience, if you've got 50,000 co concurrent viewers, then over the course of three hours, you've had a, a monstrous amount of people yeah. come through and watch at least some of that stream. Uh, Let's so, see here. His live show. Where is... I don't see his live show on here. <laughs> is it not Oh, I, I need listed? to go. Yeah. YouTube has it under videos and they have live. So now I'm looking at right, it. Okay? Right, right, right. True, um, true. Yesterday... Yesterday's show, 227,000 views. Now, keep in mind, that's not going to be the real-time views. That's not going to yeah. be the real-time views. It's going to be that's, delayed. Yeah, it's still down. That's still down. Ooh. Yikes. So, I guess we got to go back, um, like, before that. Uh, I would say he's been getting, on average, like, 300 and something thousand views. Now, three he weeks is, ago, he hit a million views. Yeah, on yeah, he had a, a, a that was Friday, a draft. That was a draft party. The draft party. Fr Friday, April twenty eighth, he had five hundred and sixty one thousand views. The day after the draft, yeah, and he pretty he pretty regularly was in the high, Ooh. say three eighties. Now you can notice a blatant drop. He, he's down now for sure. Yeah, he's down. He's, he's down. absolutely down. Yeah, I mean he's like in the two hundreds now versus the three. And four hundred thousand. So he's definitely taking a hit. He's taking a hit. So Rhodes, what do you think is going to happen with with uh, Matt Kellerman now? Is he done? Well, it depends on when his contract comes up. It's possible they could let him go. They could buy him out. He could end up going to Metal Ark where Levitard is. That's a bunch of ex ESPN guys. He would fit in. He's also a boxing dude. So he can always go back to covering boxing. That was his original jam back yeah, in the day. Yeah, he was day. good at boxing. And he's very good at boxing, by the way. He is. Uh, it's really, I think, the lane he should have always stayed in. But somehow he got into doing the variety side. And, of course, he kind of blew up when he said Tom Brady was falling off a cliff and then Brady won three more Super Bowls. Yeah. So it made him look like a complete idiot. But... They could either they could either buy him out or they could move him around, put him on another show, let him do sports center hits and things like that, which is something they do to high uh, high draw personalities. They'll let them do sports center hits until their contract runs out, and then they let them go. Yeah. Well, so, I believe he's near the end anyway, no matter what happens. But Matt Kellerman possibly going to be shown the door the door to make way for Pat McAfee. Let us know what you guys think about this in the comments section. Peace, we're out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.